Hello everyone, Dex here. We were back with Red Power Pro Release 5. And in this video I'm going to show you all the basics of the mechanics you ha you can expect from frames and all sorts of things you might be wanting to know while handling them. So let's begin. First, frames um, are made from two parts. First the frames themselves, called support frames built from sticks and embracing it and uh, the thing that's moving them is called a frame motor that's quite an expensive item it uses a lot of uh, blue alloy ingots, brass ingots a blue electric motor which requires copper coil a copper coil requires four fine copper wire that's require diamond draw plate and that require this now that's a quite expensive item so bear that in mind while building this so let's start with a couple of facts. Pistons can't push motors. However, motors can lift pistons or move them. Motors can move other motors. Where is my lever? There. And motors can also move um, items with entity value, like a chest that has items in it. If I move, I can move it around and the content of the chest move, moves with it. Um, let's continue on. Um, unlike pistons that can push um, up to multiple blocks in a row without, with the limitation of 12 blocks, frames don't work that way. If they can move all the items um, touching the frames themselves, but if you place an item um, in the path of an item that's being moved by a frame. I hope you understand what I meant, for instance, here. This dirt block is being moved by this frame block, but this arm block isn't touched by a frame and blocks the way for this dirt block. If I try to run my motor now, it won't work. So for instance, a solution for this is connecting, uh, setting up some system that looks like this. You have a row of um, frames with a piston in the end and jacketed wire going all over this frame connected to this piston and the frames uh, supporting the, the jacketed wire and this jacketed wire is connected both the jacketed wire f activating the motor and the one activating the piston are connected to the same timer however the one for the piston has a slight delay so turning this machine on would look like this. It would push the, the frames every so often and after every push the piston will push the blocks that are in, might be in the way. So that's one way to solve this problem. Next, um, frames will, can, move, can be connected to multiple motors connecting, uh, facing different directions with the following rule. Frames that um, touch a motor while its active position is facing the frame, you can change the motor position, active position with, if you shift right click, you change the position, the facing posi position, if you just right click, you change the direction. So frames touching motors with their action uh, facing uh, direction will not affect the motors. So as you can see, these two motors are not moving. However, these two motors right here have their uh, facing direction to a different spot, not into the motors themselves, not in the frames themselves. So they move together with the frames. Next up, um, according to the config file, uh, the frames can move up to 1000 blocks altogether with uh, blocks uh, connecting the, connected to them which basically means that every frame supports four different bro blocks at uh, maximum so this result uh, from my experience from my experiment right here is one motor can push only up to 200 frames so I've placed, I've filled my deployer with uh, 9 stacks of 64 frames to check out how much 
can uh, the frame push and turning this counter on and you can see the motor is stopped from working now to prove my point is that uh, that's not the top of the world let's see here I'll make my way to the top quickly there we go and as you can see I can continue placing blocks so that's not, not the height limit simply the hard limit for the frames next up motors can also move items without any frame support just simply touching them and moving them by themselves they don't require any frame support and the speed they move each time is 0.8 seconds faster than that and you'll see that I'm skipping circuit every time As you can see that the default doesn't make it and of course I can make it slower but uh, 0.8 is the ideal time so for instance here I set up this quite pointless system that will that the deployer has a hoe inside it this timer has 0.2 seconds intervals if I turn it on this deployer will hoe probably should turn this a little bit slower to give the opportunity to do something actually still not slow enough there we go this for instance will keep this style of dirt hold all time and for the last part of um, this explanation video if you want to place um, all sorts of tile blocks from red power like um, alloy or all sorts of sequencers or, or uh, logic gates you can place them directly on the frames but if you place for instance a cobblestone panel or cover also will work you can place your tiles and your wires without any problem and one another thing I forgot to mention is that following my explanation for this rule here that a frame cannot push a block that's being blocked by another block for instance if you have a frame touching the ground right here that system will break why? because this frame is touching this dirt block and this dirt block is being blocked by all these other blocks right here so let's say I want this frame to be here to move something else but I want it to ignore the ground so the solution is to place a cobblestone cover or basically any other cover for that matter on the bottom part of the frame and now the frame will basically ignore the part that, that has a cover touching it like this sorry should now as you can see so that's it I hope you find this video useful please feel free to ask me any question that you'd like I'll try to answer everything that I can or know so far I've tried to play a lot with the frames and uh, really enjoying them so far and see you guys next time